Secrets, exposing my bestie slash friend's secrets. And mind you, this is from the past. This was years ago. I'm not friends with these people anymore. So if I'm exposing your secret, in my defense, we're not friends anymore. So yeah, let's start when I was in elementary. BG. Let's call her B. G because that's her initial and she used to be my bestie for a while she had a crush on this guy named let's call him monkey boy since he acts like a little monkey uh i had a crush on him too so I, oh by the way he's treating me kind of poorly he's like i don't like her like that and i ever since then i'm like i'm gonna bully this son of a thing uh but mind you i was rare i was really 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 tiny i was like first grade i no i was like in second grade at that time my bad i said first so yeah oh by the way this is for the kitten it's a little costume i tell you at the end of the video if not i can tell you another time okay so she had a crush on him and i don't know what happened between them but I think they had a really, really strong connection because she had a huge crush on him. And I need to tell him, I'm like, why are you being so nice to him? She's like, because, because I'm a nice person. I, 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 I figured out the truth. She likes him. And I think they kissed at one point. She literally told me that they kissed. And she never, she had her first kiss. And then told her parents and then told her sis, maybe her sisters. But I'm sure she didn't. I never know. Let's expose you know what I wanna expose this boy, but he's not my friend and plus even if he is he has no secrets so let's skip him. Oh I have a good secret. Oh we're not friends anymore, but let's just say we still see each other in the how do i explain this we still see each other around you know the streets or the hallways or he's in my program so i still kind of see him so i really hope he doesn't see this because if so it will be awkward more awkward than it is right now um he told me he likes this mind you this is a boy we're talking about we're talking about a boy let's call him effie why I don't know, I want to. He is interested in guys. And at one point in Biscataway Voltec, I had a crush on Bald Headed Caillou. And I really hope Bald Headed Caillou is not watching this because then he's gonna. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just hoping nobody that I know is watching this because then it's gonna be a little oop, awkward. So, how do I explain this without exposing this person? Well, most of the people that I'm exposing, they're fake. Most of them. Not all of them. Most of them. He told me that he's interested in guys. And Bola Caillou at one point was like, you're gay. You're this. You're that. You like dicks. You blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, excuse me, but in freshman, we really shouldn't be talking like this. We're not grownups yet. We're literally like starting to be mature why are you talking like this you have a dirty mouth right now and i'm just i never felt comfortable talking about the guys private areas and the girls private areas at that age because we were literally in i don't know how to explain this we were literally like kids he future me here i just like to say that when he told me balletica you must have already kind of heard and then he got into the conversation and that was like straight up being rude like, mind your own business, Bala well, guy. You, this is about me and my friend, not all three of us. And another time when he told me was like in church, I was praying. I, I was outside praying. I'm like, I don't know how to explain it, but there was something outside, and I was like sitting or like kneeling down, and I was praying because I just had a shitty, you know, uh, I had a shitty week. And he told me again. And I'm like, okay, cool, I support you. And then he straight up stopped talking to me after, like, 11th, 12th grade. The last time I ever talked to him was, I don't know, like, two, almost two years ago. So, yeah, let's get back into the video, exposing more secrets. And he has the dirty mouth, and I'm like, that, that's kind of weird, Bald Guy. You are, why would you do that? I think it's gay. 
if not bisexual. But I'm not judging. I'm just, like, letting you guys kind of know. You might be bisexual or gay in a very young age and might not realize it. I know a couple of my friends. They already... I'm not going to expose this. I'm not even going to say a nickname for this person. But this person straight up said I would go on a date with a girl. And I'm like... If so, let me set you up with Snake Girl over here because she's my bestie. Oh, let me tell you, Snake Girl is a girl. I don't want to call names or expose anybody that much because I could get in trouble. Mind you, I can still get in trouble. So, let's say me, Snake Girl used to bully me because Sneakerhead... <sighs> I really, really hope nobody's watching this. If you know me, skip this video, I'm hoping. Uh, so, Snake Girl was dating Sneakerhead. Sneakerhead, on the other hand, was interested in me. And I'm like, I don't like you like that. We're just friends. By the way, he bullied me over my skin color. I hate him for that. Uh, I'm still kind of a little bit of insecure in my skin color because I got bullied over my skin color and because they got away with it. Like, these racist people got away with my getting... <laughs> they got away with bullying me over my skin color. And that's why I hate them. Snake girl. I'm 99% sure, sure she got pregnant at one point. And I think she either lost the baby or she gave it away for an adoption. I never heard because she went to a different school. And this was in high school. I was, at that time, getting bullied over my skin color. And she was not longer my bestie. I had a new bestie. Uh, mind you, this was like two years ago. Um, I'm giving as much information as I can, but without getting in trouble. So, yeah. So, I don't know if it's true, but I did hear that she is, you know, sexually active. I don't know why. I think you should wait until you're, like, af after you're graduated, at least. Or at least get a job. So, in case if you do get pregnant, at least you have a job. Oh, wait, no. Now that I'm thinking about it, even pregnancy, you have to, like... I I'm just, like, realizing that pregnancy is a lot of work, and you can't work while you're, like... At the end of your pregnancy. <laughs> Sell it, man. So, yeah. And I'm sure she lost her virginity to a sneaker head, to monkey boy, and all the guys out there. Mario, get off of my sister's pillow. Patukana. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Sorry, I have to talk like that because that's the only way I can get him to understand and just like make him feel loved but like a little bit of tough love if you know what i mean let me expose this one other person i keep for wait, let me think let me think oh I, I think i think of a good one but i'm gonna save this secret for another video so let's get this person hmm Dee Dee from biscataway voltec she's the same class as me and before I transferred to Piscataway Voltec to a different high school, she told me this secret. She had, how do I explain this? S E X with her stepbrother. And I'm like, oh, okay, I can kind of understand because I've seen movies where you. I don't know, experience with a man and then you find out that they're your like half sibling or something like that. And no, they already know that they were step siblings, but they still went ahead and had that you know what. You know what I'm talking about, people. And I'm like I'm not here to judge, but like, why did you have to tell me that as a freshman? A freshman. Like can't you just keep your mouth shut? I don't want to know that stuff. This is so disgusting how this creepo told me this. And I'm like... Huh? Oh, and after, after I got transferred, I realized that she had a physical fight. She started the fight, by the way. That's what I heard. I 100% believe that story because she would start with literally any girl because she gets jealous with every girl. Yeah. She's short. 
Boy, I don't even know why, why I thought she was my bestie. We started becoming friends for like two months. And we became besties just like that. And I'm like, it's too soon to be besties. Do you think we, we should just slow it down? She's like, uh, that's how we're doing. We're slowing it down. And I'm like, this, this girl's cuckoo. 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 So, I would love to share some more secrets with you over my fake friends but right now it's like a little too long a video i i can make a part two if you guys really enjoy it but this is the best i can do see you in my next video thanks all for watching love you all peace out god bless you all don't be fake flower grows out